This is Canal Scanner Reptiles here, and today I wanted to show you guys how to set up a uh, baled or a panther chameleon. This right here is a uh, small reptibreeze. It's your most basic setup for uh, any baby baled or panther chameleon. Um, their care varies a little bit, um, but it's virtually the same. When you start off with a 5.0 UVB light, we recommend uh, Zoomets, which are good for a year, the output and a 50 watt basking bulb for the veils. You want to make sure that they can get pretty close to it. They like their hotspot around 90. And to be able to check, we've got Zoomed's digital thermometer here. They work great. You can move it around the cage and get the hot, so hot spot and the low temperatures, which would be in the lower 80s. Um, we've got Zoomed's combo dome in here just to support both lights. And um, it's got two individual switches so you can have them on or off. You can switch the basking bulb out with a nighttime bulb if your house is getting too cold. And um, then we have our plants and our jungle vine. The jungle vine is completely bendable, uh, waterproof, uh, it's, so you can scrub off poop when they poop on it and everything. And I've set it up with two plants. I think that's a good minimum because you want enough water to pool on the leaves of the plants so that the chameleon can drink. You, uh, they're gonna lap up the water off the leaves. They don't drink from a bowl or anything like that. They drink when they see moving water. You wanna spray your, your chameleon at least three times a day for babies. In adults, you wanna do at least twice. You wanna make sure every time you spray them that you watch them drink. They may not drink the very first time you spray them. You wanna come back a couple minutes later and spray down the cage again because you wanna make sure that your chameleon is staying hydrated. That's one of the number one causes of death in chameleons is people not paying attention and their chameleon dehydrating. So that's a big, big thing. Now when you spray them, we've got one of Exoterra's pump misters here and some Reptisafe. Now this mister, you want to make sure you don't fill up above the 2000 milliliter line because you risk blowing the o-ring. Also you want to make sure you release the presser, pressure because you, once again, also risk blowing an o-ring which just causes you to buy a whole new one. This product will take out chlorine and chloramines, but also adds electrolytes, which is very, very good. Um, two drops per eight ounces. Um, go, it goes a long way. And then, as for bedding, I recommend EcoEarth. The only thing, there's a lot of uh, controversy out there. Some people don't like it, but I, I prefer it. I think it works great. Uh, as long as you spray it down and pack it down, you don't have to worry about babies ingesting any of it when they get their crickets or anything. Um, when we feed our chameleons, we make sure all their food is dusted with reptocalcium every single feeding, even if it's three feedings a day, which we recommend for young baby chameleons. Also, Reptivite, we recommend at least once a week. We have a saying here, we call it Mineral Monday. It's an easy way to remember it. But you can also um, do it up to about two times a week. You just don't want to overdo it. The uh, minerals and everything you can overload your chameleon on, and it can actually do more harm than good. But that's just a quick little video. Um, to get more in-depth with Veiled, Panther, and uh, Jackson's chameleons, we will have a care guide that you can print out on our, on our website. And uh, if you have any questions, just give the shop a call. Um, otherwise, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.